Welcome to the Booth Library tutorial for the database America History and Life. As a history student, you will likely find many valuable results searching this database. Our goal is to help you navigate the database to yield the best possible results for your inquiry. If your area of research focuses on history outside of North America, be sure to view the tutorial for historical abstracts. To access the database, navigate to the Booth Library homepage. At the top left, you will notice an off-campus login option. You may log in now using your NetID and password. You may also wait and log in later when prompted. In the main search field, click the tab that says Explore by Subject. Then choose History from the list of options. This will take you to a page of library resources that are highly relevant to history research. In the top picks area, you will find a link to America History and Life. This link will take you to an EBSCOhost page with additional database options. We will search within a single database for the purpose of this tutorial. Make sure America History and Life has been automatically selected and click Continue. You now arrive at the primary search interface for America History and Life. You will note that you are provided with many options to customize your search. The many facets offered allow you to narrow or broaden your search depending on your results. In the top field, enter your research topic. You may narrow your search by selecting a search field, but it is not necessary. A search for temperance movement yields 690 results. Let's narrow our search based on our research interests. In one of the secondary search boxes, we will add women. This narrows our results to 246. We can further refine our results using the facets available on the left-hand side of the results page. Using the Limit To box, you can, amongst other options, refine your search based on publication date. If you are looking only for specific recent publications, adjust the field accordingly. To search specific eras, click the Show More box under the publication date range. This opens a box that allows you to select a historical period. Let's search the period of 1880 to 1890. This has narrowed our results to 178. Other facets allow us to refine our search based on source types, subjects, publication, publisher, and language. I have selected academic journals and narrowed my subjects using the Show More option. This opens a box that displays all related subjects and allows you to choose as many as you wish. I have selected Women's Christian Temperance Union, Women, Feminism, and Gender, and updated my results. My results are narrowed to 48. At the top of the left-hand column, you will see the refinement you have made to your original search. As you evaluate your results, you may wish to change your search by adding or removing or altering options. Selecting a result allows you to view its record. In the record, you will find at least one of your selected subject terms. Scan the listed subjects to see if others will help you with your search. Clicking on one of the links will pull records associated with that subject term. Most results will offer an abstract for your review. If the result is relevant, click Get Full Text on the left. You'll be provided with a list of options for retrieving the article. If you see full text available, you can access the article here. If you did not log in earlier, you'll be prompted to do so after clicking the link. When accessing full text records, you can read the document online or download a PDF. Not all articles will be available online, as in this example. If the article is highly relevant, you can choose to request the document via interlibrary loan. This process can take several days depending on availability, so be sure to submit your request early in your research. If you have trouble accessing the article, please contact the Booth Library Reference Desk by phone, email, or chat, and we'll be happy to help you access the material.